it's been interesting experiencing uh, nine different visionaries over the last 15 years and my fifth one was different again from the first four uh, I was a startup uh, you know very very early startup and uh, what I realized and learned from this one was that there's different types of visionaries and different types of integrators and uh, you can't put them in one box because every situation is different and every need is different and uh, this one was very much a, a verbal processor uh, needed someone to talk to uh, needed to hash out ideas and uh, while I'm, I'm decent at that uh, I'm much better as an executor you know just get it done I need I need the high level vision then I can take it and run with it and make things happen and although I enjoyed the conversations that I had with my fifth visionary uh, I did find that I wasn't best suited uh, for that role and uh, I do find that over over the years I've noticed that People do try to put integrators in a box, but there's a lot of different types of situations. Uh, what you need at that early stage is, is very different from what you need uh, from a, a company that might have a hundred or more employees. Uh, you know, you need you need probably at that smaller level, you need someone who can just get stuff, do, do the actual work. Whereas at the higher level, you need somebody who can lead and manage and hold people accountable. Uh, so yeah, and, and, and also visionaries are very different and their needs vary. Some visionaries are good at uh, you know, can be decent at, at, at uh, details and, and can make some things happen, whereas others are, are really not and they really need need uh, a different type of person. So um, I guess this, this one kind of just broke me out of the box. So um, don't put a visionary or an integrator in a box. Every situation is different.